Over time, there have been a few distinct fashion revolutions for women, from togas to gowns and corsets. Fashion was used to show social status. Eventually, it became socially acceptable for women to wear pants, and clothes went from practicality to an enforcement of gender roles to a form of expression. Just recently, a new stage in fashion history emerged. I call it the quarantine revolution. I'm gonna be showing you some of the most popular outfits for this quarantine. And in between, I'll show you some DIY creative masks. We'll start with a couple of go-to looks. The best part of this outfit is the pants, which you can wear for three to five days and no one will know. This is the first mask I'll be showing you, probably the easiest and most practical there is. Laundry day has come and gone and still no motivation to do any laundry whatsoever. So this will be our quarantine last resort look. Isn't she stunning? Bless you. Let's move on to some going out looks. Whew. Would you look at those unshaven legs? For those trips to the grocery store, your new excuse to leave the home, some new trends are being put into place. I can't see you, you can't see me. Now for the new business casual. For those meetings or class times, combining two styles, business on the top and relaxation on the bottom. And this is the subtle flex. Okay seniors, let's talk about the hottest look for prom this year. Too soon? And finally, two looks from our new line titled, I'll just take my bed with me. This mask is more of a last resort, although there's plenty of room for personalization. I hope you enjoyed the show and you got some ideas of how to amp up your spring wardrobe. Happy quarantine! As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, this project was not my first or second idea. I originally did a lot of research about political comedians, like watching Last Week Tonight with John Oliver and a lot of weekend updates and neither of those ideas worked out. So I guess my inspiration for this project would still probably be SNL and other comedians who are um, working with what they have and trying to kind of make light of the situation we're in. Um, and all the comedians who are just finding creative ways to deliver their content.